Alright, so to preface this video, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about Minecraft. Bruh. As I've gotten older now, my time played on the game has reduced a lot over the years, and I think others can share a very similar story. I haven't really paid attention to new updates to Minecraft since... Well, I'd say since about the Aquatic Update <laughs> released back in 2018, but that is what I want to change today. I want to become informed. Now, all of this may come as a surprise to people because, well, I've built up a Minecraft YouTube channel over the past year, but I'm not afraid to expose myself and straight up say I haven't paid attention to the lore of this game for like four years now. So I attempted to do some research, and today our topic of discussion is the newly revealed Minecraft update 1.20. Now I would like this to actually be a discussion. My favorite part about YouTube is reading the comments and speaking with people from all over the world, and one of my goals is to respond to every single comment left on my YouTube channel. So before I share my thoughts, I'd like to ask, what is your opinion on the information we know so far about Minecraft 1.20? Do the new features we know about provide a strong purpose to the game, or are they kind of just thrown in? What are you most excited about, and how do you think this update will stack up with the previous updates we've had? I'm very interested to hear what your thoughts are, and remember, I respond to them all, so whatever your opinion is, I'll be sure to read it. Alright, so, let us begin with my very expert take on the whole situation. The first thing I want to address was a very recent event, and it was the main focus of the entire Minecraft community, the 2022 mob vote. Simply put, I was team Tough Golem, alright? Because we all knew the sniffer was gonna win, and I just like to be different. But also, I actually found the Tough Golem to be the best option out of the three. Or at least the mob I would find myself interacting with the most. Because, well, let's review our options one more time. The Rascal, only found underground in mines, and I have to find it three times in order to get some very below average loot. Lame. The Sniffer. Everyone knew this one was winning right as it was announced, and yeah, it literally received over half the vote. It is a very clever idea adding in items that go along with the mob, and that is something unique to the Sniffer. But my main thing against it is I don't really have a need for more plants in Minecraft. I can work with what we currently have to build literally whatever I want. I can see how the hardcore builders would be like, Oh, new decoration blocks, let's go! And I'm just like, I'm fine with the current blocks that we have to work with. Now the tough golem, this on the other hand, is a mob I can get behind. I'm a man who likes to display my Minecraft wealth, so I think it would have been just amazing to return from a long day down in the mines and see my tough golem walking around my base holding like a door or something. That would have been cool, but unfortunately, this will never happen as my beloved Tough Golem got dead last. <laughs> the community really let me down here. I can't say I was particularly impressed with any of the mob options this year, honestly. For the most part, they all feel like very insignificant additions to the game, but this was the first mob vote I've actually paid attention to, so I'm not sure. Is this how it's been in the past? Have they always been kind of useless mobs? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below as I'm kind of a boomer on these topics. I don't know for sure. But moving on, the biggest mob coming to 1.20, in my opinion, has got to be the camel. This is a great addition, honestly, as usually when I see a desert biome, I'm like, meh. I don't really want to go there, but now that I can go searching for camels, I love it. Camels to me are much better than any of the mob vote mobs, to be honest, and I'm happy we get to finally see the arrival of something the community has wanted for so long. Camels are a big W. Furthermore, again, I'm not a huge builder, so the bamboo wood set is cool, but to me, I'm not going to use it a whole lot, but still, great addition there. It turns out they added like rafts or something, okay, cool I guess, kind of useless, but the chiseled bookshelves are awesome. Yay. The lore is gonna go crazy now that we can actually store books properly, and that overall is a very fun feature. Also, the fact that the bookshelves get out a redstone input is awesome, as that always leads to more creativity, more possibilities with the bookshelves. Great addition overall there. Hanging signs. Let's go. This item will again make builds and bases look way more clean, and I hadn't even thought about this idea of a hanging sign until I saw it in the update. So the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's convenient. But overall, so far what we know about this update is lacking compared to previous years. Obviously, it doesn't appear to be as ambitious as previous upgrades, like we aren't getting new nether biomes or entirely new world generation. I like the features, but I'm wondering how many more things they will announce with 1.20. 
To me, the update is a bit underwhelming, but I'm not really going to complain much because the last few updates have been huge. I think it's smart of them to not overpromise a whole bunch of new features, only to completely disappoint us. And overall, I do hope they share a lot more information about this update, as so far we have a decent start, but if this is all there is, then I'd probably be very disappointed. So again, I'm wondering, what are your thoughts on Minecraft 1.20? It doesn't appear to be a very monumental update so far. I'd say it's a bit underwhelming, but I'm very interested to hear what the rest of the community has to say. Feel free to leave your comments down below, as I will definitely read them all. One thing I know for sure is we still need that new update that completely fixes Minecraft on Xbox. Hopefully that happens someday. But until the next one, everyone, it's been Smitty. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.